Hi everyone, Justin Forrest, Game Director for Snooker 19 here. We're all really excited about the Nintendo Switch launch and I'm here to take you through some of the key features of the game. So here we are in the main menu. This is the hub that gives you access to the various game modes and features. It's worth noting at this point that Snooker 19 is the official World Snooker video game and the only fully licensed snooker game on the Nintendo Switch. The partnership with World Snooker has been invaluable for us, as it brings a wealth of powerful, authentic licensed content. This includes the top 128 ranked snooker pros, including superstars like the current world champion Judd Trump, rising stars like Jack Lizowski, and legends of the game including Ronnie O'Sullivan, John Higgins, Mark Williams, Jimmy White and many more. Let's start with the quick match content. As you can see, there are a number of different options available within Quick Match, with a choice of game modes. This ranges from standard 15 red snooker, 6 red snooker, and shootout, which has a unique set of rules, uses shot and match timers, and is designed for quick aggressive play. As you would expect, you can adjust the match length in frames, allowing you to customise the match length from short quick fire matches to real marathons if you're so inclined. The World Snooker Licence gives us the real-world arenas that feature on the World Snooker Circuit. This includes a wide range of international venues, including the iconic Alexandra Palace, where the Masters are held, and of course the Great Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, where the World Championships take place. We've settled on a single frame match of snooker in Alexandra Palace. Let's move on to the next stage. This is the player settings screen and this is where you can choose your player, set up your aiming aid and choose whether to play against a human opponent or an AI opponent. There are 128 pro players to choose from. Each player has his own strengths and weaknesses and these are reflected in the gameplay. Any snooker fan will be able to choose their favourite real world player in Snooker 19. Being a bit of a rocket fan myself, I'm going to choose Ronnie O'Sullivan as my pro player. Now I'm going to set my aiming aid. This is the key visual guide that you will use to play the game. There are a variety of different aiming aids to choose from and these will give different levels of visual feedback for where the cue ball and object ball are directed. I'm going for Pro. I'm choosing to play against AI. There are three difficulty brackets which loosely define the challenge you'll face. The top players are definitely more challenging than the lower ranked players. I'm choosing the current world champion, Judd Trump. Welcome back to Alexandra Palace, where it's now time for an exhibition. So here we are in the iconic Alexandra Palace, the home of the Masters. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. OK, looks like I've got the break. So the first thing you'll notice is that you can move the cue ball around the D, as you would expect, to place the ball perfectly for your break off. You can lift the cue ball if you decide you want to change your mind and replace it. You can see there, as I'm adjusting the power of the shot, the aiming aid is extending out from the cue ball. And then it will hit an object ball and you'll see a kind of yellowy fan coming off from the object ball and then the white line defines exactly where the cue ball is going. In this case I'm targeting the blue just to illustrate the way that the fanning works, which is a way of basically controlling the difficulty of the shot. So the thinner the cut, the more difficult the shot is. When you see the red line appear off the, uh, off the object ball, um, you know that it's an illegal ball. Here, I'm targeting a legal ball and I'm trying to set up my break. I've set the power at about 55% and now I'm going for my fine-tuned camera and I'm adjusting, you can see I've adjusted my spin so I'm hitting the ball with quite a lot of right hand side to try and track the ball underneath the blue and back into bulk. With a power I pull the stick back and then I push it forward and try to hit the perfect power to execute the shot. And that looks like a pretty good break to me. Underneath the blue as you would expect and then right up onto the bulk cushion. So let's see what Judd can do. He's playing safe here. Just nicks the reds out to the side cushion and then leaves the cue ball not in an ideal position. In fact, he's given me a bit of a chance. On this level of aiming aid, this is a possibility. If you start moving towards the harder aiming aids, like Pro Plus and Master, 
this becomes a much more challenging shot, a very risky shot indeed. So here I am in the execution phase again. Tough shot coming up. I'm just going to try dribble this in and leave myself nicely on the black, which I've managed to do. That is a quality opening red. As you can see, I'm aiming here in the, in the first camera. This is like the TV camera. This allows me to kind of set up the basics of the shot. Now I'm in the fine tune camera. This is where I can finesse my shot to make sure I'm not missing at all. Or if I want to apply a little bit of spin, I can see exactly where the ball's going. Once I'm happy with the setup, I go into the execution phase, which is where I actually play the shot. And you'll always see the player in a really cool camera angle during the execution phase which helps you kind of understand exactly Eight. what you're supposed to be doing at each step. Just checking to see where that red goes past in the free cam. And as you can see, it does nicely. So I'm still on a max 147 possible break here. Highly unlikely to happen, but it is possible. So this pot into the right corner. Yeah, that's not the best positional shot, really. I should have pulled that back a bit or used a little bit of side. To Nine. Bounce it off the uh, off the top cushion. I'm kind of forcing myself into taking on a riskier blue here. Um, plenty of plenty of risk in this shot, and also position is really tricky. We know that there's one red loose red at the bottom that might go if I get the right position, but I don't think I'm going to get it with this playing the ball like this. Well, that was my own fault for losing position. That's the key to snooker, isn't it? Keep your position good and everything else quite easy to execute. Ronnie O'Sullivan, nine. So Judd's going to play that uh, another safety shot. He's going to push the cue ball up to bulk, which he's done very well. And he's left me a very, very trying shot here. So I'm going to play a safety as well. I'm just going to try thin cut this and see if I can get the cue ball back to bulk, tight to the cushion. And I've underhit that. Fortunately, I haven't left much on. There's a loose red to the bottom of the cluster. Um, and that might be a shot to nothing for Judd. We'll see if he takes it on. He's taken it on. He's missed Close, it. But, but not quite. Pretty good shot to nothing there where he's pushed the cue ball safe. Okay, and he's left me a very difficult one along the cushion. And this aiming aid, it is viable for me to pot these. It is incredibly risky, though. This is a tricky one along the cushion. Nailed it. Right, perfect position He's on the black. What a pot. Well, maybe a little bit low on the black, actually. I kind of wanted to try and get into a position where I could play that loose red. Um, yeah, some work to do here. Right. Hmm. So I'm in the fine-tune camera, camera here, which kind of allows me to tune things at a more detailed level. Playing that with a little bit of screw, and then I'm going to take on that loose red along the top cushion and see if I can just drop it into the left corner. As you can see, the fanning Eight. is quite, I'm getting more extreme here. But in the fine-tune camera, I can lift up the camera a little to kind of help me with my angles. Just going to try and drop this in softly. This is not easy. Yeah, just nicked it in. Oh, okay, not ideal shot. position. I'm moving to quite tricky pots here. And the big problem I've got is once Excellent. if I get this pot in, well, where do I go from nice. there? If I can control the pace, I might be able to take that red just to the bottom of the cluster. But I've said a fair amount um, in this frame, and I haven't really been able to control the cue ball the way that I'd He's like. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. Good split. That's really opened the table up here. 16. Great position on the red here. So I should be able to just play this with a little bit of screw. Um, tiny bit of side just to bring it perfectly in position for the black. Yeah, nicely positioned. 17. Maybe a little straight. A slight angle to work with. Um, yeah, this is risky. I'm not sure I should be playing like this. Yeah, I've overhit the screw massively. I'm trying to play for that 
red to the right of the pink. But uh, 24. Yeah, didn't get it right. And again, I left myself a very risky shot along the cushion. It's very tight pots with the pockets kind of at their tightest as He's well. He's looking at this red. And I missed it. Oh, so close. He needed some luck there and he didn't get it. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 24. Well, let's see what Trump can do here. Yeah, using the cushions very nicely. Nicely onto the black. One. Yeah, he's undercooked that one. Eight. I think he was playing for the, the red on that outside cushion, but he's played an absolutely well, the amazing pot there. Superb. Very much out of the, uh, the Trump skill bracket. And played with safety in mind as well, which kind of shows that the, the AI is, is quite sophisticated. That's a brilliant shot. It's pretty much the only ball he could go for unless he wanted to go into the cluster, and he's played it brilliantly. 13. So, that brings me to the end of my demo, but I hope you found it informative and you really enjoy the game. And right on cue, Snooker 19 is available to pre-order now on Nintendo Switch and will release on the 23rd of August. You can stay in touch with us on Twitter at at Snooker19Game or at Lab42Games. Thanks for watching.